greetings fellow men, servus Männer, it's Red Bull Germany again and today I want to talk about PC culture and tone policing invading the workplace. Now you might say that I'm 20 years too late with that topic, but hear me out first. Not everyone works in a big metropolis in an advertisement agency for example. Uh, me for example, I work in a factory where we have a lot of milling and grinding machines and uh, the air smells of oil particles dispersed in there together with dust and metal shavings. So in this environment there are a lot of middle aged and old men of course, blue collar old school workers. And you still see the pictures of pin up girls in the lockers and all that stuff and uh, quite frankly their way of speaking doesn't really fit in the postmodern world. I mean they do not speak PC at all. They make a lot of dirty jokes, uh, they insult each other. So in other places, in bigger cities for example or um, at our company's headquarters for example, that stuff would get you fired. But where I work they still do that stuff just like back in the 80s. Then Actually, it's pretty awesome. But yesterday, I had the first meeting with my boss about my performance. So he gives me feedback and he evaluates the performance of this year. And then we sit down, discuss whether or not this is fair. And this um, will then translate into a certain score, which will influence some part of my salary. So basically, I have a union contract, but there is a teeny tiny... Um, performance based component to it. So it's, it's a couple of percent and if I do a good job it will rise but it won't rise fast. In any case it will just rise slowly over the years. But I got a little raise so I'm okay. So I was actually surprised that he could identify my strengths and weaknesses quite accurately because I mean he doesn't interact a lot with me but he got a pretty good picture of my performance I think and I had no objections really. But at the end I noticed something. So um, we have to write down a paragraph that describes my, my performance and my strengths and weaknesses and all that stuff. And then there was a little button that you have to push before you can actually submit that statement into the workflow and it goes to HR then. So this button was called like choice of word analyzer. So Wortwahl Analysator in German. And it was really funny. I mean, I asked him, dude, what, what, what does this button do? Does it like, uh, I mean, it's not correcting your uh, typos. It's, is it like really if you put an insult in there or something? And he's like, no, I mean, that looks for uh, inappropriate words like fat or, or lazy or, or anything like that. Probably also racial slurs. So I'm, it was so surprising to me. So it seems like HR and the higher management, they really think that middle management is so stupid as to put stuff like, oh, employee X is really fat and he smells and he's also lazy and very stupid. <laughs> it's so surprising. So I wonder who programs this thing and what kind of a blacklist they have in there. I mean, it would be really interesting to see what kind of phrases, what kind of combination of words they put on this um, bad choice of word list, so to speak, that uh, where the alert would go off. So basically I'm really blessed in that sense that um, working there is almost like like still in the 80s or the 90s. It, it seems like modern times have passed us by pretty much. I'm living in this retro bubble where everyone I work with is pretty uh, straightforward and non-PC actually. It's quite refreshing. But it's moments like these when you notice, ah, okay. <laughs> Um, we are a global player and it is 2016. <laughs> Whenever you see one of those HR management tools, then it becomes pretty apparent that, yeah, this is still a normal company and uh, just on the factory floor, we don't really uh, witness that firsthand all the time. And we just act as if um, postmodernism and all these SJWs as if they didn't exist, right? I told my colleagues actually at lunchtime about this and uh, they said they didn't notice that when they had the same kind of meeting and it, it just goes to show maybe that uh, I have maybe heightened awareness for things like that and they totally didn't see that. 
So I guess I'm really blessed in a sense, as I said before, that I don't have to endure this constant tone policing. I mean, I have to be careful, of course, what I say at work, but at least it isn't that bad. So for everyone else who is not that lucky with his corporate job or with his work environment, I hope that um, the pendulum will swing in the other direction soon and we have seen the worst of uh, PC and SJW culture at the workplace. So I hope that soon in the future it will be time to stop the tone policing and get the hell back to work and get some shit done. Okay, enjoy your Friday night. Have a great day. Servus, Kameraden.